welcome back to more Dragon Ball Z League, the 2024 season. We're in week 14 of 15 of the main season. I'm Ryan. And I'm Bad to the Bow. Uh, some crazy, ridiculous matches in the first four episodes. I want to say two elites, like two just slobber knockers as well. Um, you know, and not counting, you know, with the elites. Uh, like it, it's been some crazy matches, some close matches, great AI performances, uh, things that have just shocked us as commentators. Uh, so some really fun stuff has happened in the first four matches. Make sure to go check those out. Yeah, some absolute craziness. And we're going to see if the craziness continues into these next set of matches. Yeah, and the craziness, uh... All right, this one is going to be interesting. GT, seven and six, Earth Defenders, seven and six. They've secured their playoff spot. They're fine, uh, I'm pretty sure. GT, uh, yeah, they're more or less safe. Yeah, GT uh, just needs, uh, you know, essentially not to lose out. And, uh, you know, they're fine. They can't catch up to Royals. Uh, Earth Defenders, where are they? Uh, near the nor top of North Kai. So actually, Earth Defenders have a bit to fight for in this match. Yeah, uh, Earth Defenders want that uh, that bye week. Uh, GT wants to maybe not have a loss streak anymore. Uh, you know, <laughs> they, they each each has their motives. Um, and yeah, um, there is a lot to go over this match. To start, we have Super Baby running key plus two, super minus one. Uh, Demonic Bargain, Dragon Spirit, Key Control on TNAI, going up against Krillin, running defense plus two, Dende Ceiling, Sirius, Quick Pass Attack, Light Body on Majin Buu AI. All right, and so, Baby Vegeta, with making a deal with the devil, will you be good this season? Or this, just this match? We'll have to see. He has a lot of key to work with, but he is down a health bar. Expanding energy wave from Krillin. He retaliates with I'm baby. I'm Doing baby. 2k damage. I'm baby. <laughs> and yeah, he is loving that uh, that finger blitz barrage. Uh, and I mean, so far, not a bad start from baby, but being down a health bar uh, is potentially a big detriment. Oh yeah. Unless he manages to pay it back. Especially uh, as a starter going against the melee monster in Krillin. Yeah, Krillin, very effective in the melee, very consistent for ED, uh, usually a, a solid starter for them. But so far, not bad, not a bad performance from Baby. I I'm kind of Baby! Waste, kind of a big waste of Blast Fox. <laughs> what are you talking about? That was 880 damage. 880 damage for a high tension while he was already at full key. And he is now in the red. Probably just wants to go for a maybe a B2 into a transformation. Um, hey, there's a transformation. Yeah. There's and transformation. he is no cool longer game. baby. He's now super baby too. Final flash. The final flash from downtown. Yep, does not Both connect. trade B2s <laughs> that just kind of miss. Ooh, if he tagged now, he's in the next uh, health bar. Oh, that's yeah. not good. Ooh, yeah, that is a solar flare from Krillin. Uh, that's where both the power energy volley does some solid damage. And I mean, but like a destructor just from Krillin will kill. Or oh, yeah. a, a, a well timed coming out. Or a ping pong combo could. What about an expanding energy wave? Hey, he could do that uh, as well. 25k, Maybe. are you happy with that? Uh, you know. <laughs> and, uh, we now have Super 17 in. He is in running Attack Plus One, Serious Master Throw, Key Control, Light Body, Combo Master with 18's Kiss as a 18's Kiss as a boost on Trunks AI. So uh, off-screen cannon fight, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes. Uh, it was a very short fight, though. It was a uh, blast to the chest. Oh, so that's not that even a it. fight. Gotcha. Yeah. It was, it was L plus <laughs> Ooh, Yeah, that is going to make it really hard for Super 17 to get his hits in on Krillin, who is now done almost two bars already to Super 17. This is not a great start for GT. Oh, God. Still with the L plus ratio. But it looks like it finally wore off there. But he keeps going for grabs at little oppor inopportune times. And it looks like he is probably going to go down here. Uh, to Krillin. Looks like your problem child isn't Baby Vegeta, it's Super 17. 
Uh, our problem hey. solid is like every character who hasn't sinned. <laughs> um, does take down Krillin, uh, which brings in Tien, who's running defense plus three, attack minus one, fighting spirit, eternal life on Deodro AI, takes out Super 17 like that. Super 17, congrats, you've done 10k damage. Now we have Sin Shin running. Hey, don't. He is running super plus one, fighting spirit, uh, indignation, blade energy, then the ceiling savior with the KSA boost on Deodro AI. Don't Lands disrespect him. He did 15k. <laughs> But Sin with a nice uh, uh, ultimate. So I am curious, because I don't think I've asked this of you as part of the uh, supporter. How come the Kabito secret arts on Sin? How come? Yeah, he has uh, what? Explosive wave and breath? Yes, but when he transforms to a mega, he gets a max power mode B1. Oh. And he has that supernova sized ult. So you give him the KSA so that he has blast stocks so that he can kind he of build those up. That way, when he's have... at low health, he transforms. Maybe with the tag yeah. that... Okay. I see and it. he's on the Ajurubi AI. So he's incentivized the tag. Um, especially he's because he's noting, I do think there is some sort of incentive with, like, however the AI thinks to do, like, a transform and tag sort of situation. I feel like you see it a lot. Well, a tag um, will a get a little health. Without... Yeah, get a little bit of health. Doesn't transform. Not great, but we now have Selen. He's running defense plus two, late energy, then day healing, light body, dragon spirit with a bro's ring limiter, and the power of rage boost on Majin Buu AI. Yeah, and uh, no androids on Earth Defender, so a very good team for Cell to do his Selly things. Yeah, uh, he can absolutely do a lot. And he might take out Tien with this melee combo. Nope, just uh, missed a special beam cannon. Just barely misses the special beam cannon, but does take out Tien with a bit of melee. Hey, Sin and Cell currently have brought it back. You are losing now only by two bars. Yeah, but now we have this character to deal with, Hercule. He is in running super plus two, key minus one, indication, focus shot, fighting spirit, launch support, savior on shout to AI. Ouch. That's an 11k present. Yep. He just wanted uh, to give bit. you a gift. <laughs> He's wanted to give a gift, and it hurt a lot. Oh, Didn't no. But misses, and now he gets hit with a dynamic mess -em up punch, which will also do a lot. You know, that's something else that I uh, just thought about. Hercule in Sparking Zero. Yeah, he's he, getting back to his goofy self with V2s that is with he, a dynamic mess -em up punch that doesn't connect for a lot. Have they have they confirmed, like, dynamic mess -em up punch has that 50-50 to do one or full damage? I'm almost certain it is that way. But as <laughs> oh, another no. tag from GT... Uh, Sin coming back in with the max power mode, and ult could go a long way here into doing some damage to her. Stands oh, he knocked him down, too. That's nice actually huge. Up. Hey, 9k. Into it. Oh, he got course, the false courage off. Yeah, that is not great, because now he can just stand in melee and throw out present bombs. So that is another 10k damage to Sin, but he is now in the health range to transform. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Transform, tag. You can't tag yet, but transform. No, just going for the melee, which is. I mean, hey, it's doing stuff. There you go. Do you get? Do you get key? No, you get nothing. Nope. You get nothing. Other than big, beautiful body. Yes, just being a big guy. Oh, the false curve. He grabbed him though. Knocks him away. Knocks him away. Uh. Probably. Is and that's it for Sin. Yep, hi Sin. All right, we now have Cell hitting the field. I got uh, I don't know if he was out long enough to get back to like a full bar. He was. Oh yeah, he was. But he and, can. I mean, he can. He can maybe grab to finish this off and. Yeah, that'd be huge or back. not. Does not. All right, but we do see the last move of Ed hit the field. Uh, mid Goku. Uh, he's running attack plus two, defense minus one, serious lane energy, quick pass attack, light body savior, dragon spirit on Trunks AI. All right. Cell We're, wins oh. the clash. The Goes grab the would have been huge. Yeah, grab would have been big. Uh, doesn't connect. Goes for a health pushback. Oh! Dodges the meteor smash. Cell's putting up a fight at least. Yeah, he is not going down easy. All right, you just need to and get into max power mode and do a... Is it drain life cell in this form? I think it is, yes, right? It is, it is drain life cell. Tried to go for a grab. Didn't uh, connect with that melee. That is it, but a well-fought... 
last stand there buy sell and send shinron yeah i mean uh, they brought it back to being like very reasonably win uh like winnable for them uh so like you know you lost by what two bars like two and a half bars yeah yeah so... which is the closest match we have had in the last like five weeks <laughs> Well, uh, you know, uh, your team goes to seven and seven. Earth Defender goes to eight and six. Earth Defenders right now, top of North Guy. They might get a bye week. You're still relatively safe. Uh, yeah. So I, uh, I mean, yeah, no, like, yay, Earth Defenders. No real consequence for GT, but you know, we're all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, congratulations, uh, ED, on a well-fought win. All right, match number six. Also a match that it not really going to have that many, uh, like, implications. Uh, Boo Saga. I disagree. All right, well, let's go through this. Boo Saga and Hybrids, both seven and six. Um, yeah. Okay, if Boo Saga wins, they will be tied again with Earth Defenders, and I don't know who won the Divisional. Um, and then Hybrids... Uh, Oh, if Rugrats they... won their match. Kaiju lost. Oh, if hybrids win, then it okay. Hi... They That's both want to win. Very <laughs> tense. Yeah. Uh, so spoiler alert for earlier in the week, but yeah, they they both want wins. Ooh. Yeah. This is this is uh, both these teams want because they are both fighting for that uh, that uh, bye week. So yeah, this is this is potentially very big for both. Uh, to start, we have Spopovich running attack plus two, defense minus one, Sirius, light body, eternal life on Majin Buu AI, going up against Saiya Man running key plus one, fighting spirit, lane energy, eternal life on Piccolo AI. I give you the same treatment I gave that woman. They have custom dialogue. They do? Yeah. Uh, I guess that makes sense. They, yeah, yeah. Spopovich, I, I couldn't fully understand it, but Spopovich said something, uh, fight that woman, which is clearly referencing Videl. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. I don't think we've ever had these two as starters to hear custom dialogue. Yeah, God. no, definitely not something you, I'm yeah, like, I, I've, I've ever heard. What? The, one of the things that I'm most interested in um, is what are the custom dialogues that are going to happen in Sparking Zero? Like, it's just little Easter eggs and things like that, but I don't care. That's one of my favorite parts of the game. And that's an ult. It's just like the little Easter egg lines. Yeah, that is an <laughs> ult from Saiyan, man. This will do some good damage here um, against uh, Spopovich. Yeah, nice 15k uh, even it back up. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Spopovich said, I'll give you the same treatment I gave that woman. Yeah. Yeah, Spopovich is, uh, is the brutal sort who would say something like He's that. He's an yeah. evil bastard being controlled by it, the Majin. Yeah. Uh, and this is so far a very even start. Going to a clash with 2v2s. Spopovich wins it. Yeah, Spovich, Spovich, like, again, Spovich has always been, like, the weak link of Boo Saga. This season, though, he has been tremendous. Yeah, he has had some very good improvements of last season. All right, I mean, that extra kick. He has taken out Saiyan Man with about a two-bar lead. Not a bad start all for Boo Saga. Uh, Future Gohan hitting the field. He's wearing attack plus two, defense minus one. Serious, quick, fast attack, late energy, light body, Dende ceiling on trunks ai so speaking of characters have been really good for their teams future gohan it's all very, that very very scary it's all been that one arm baby <laughs> yeah all it took was them putting him on the right costume yes uh and he's been really good i mean yeah i i know that like it it would have been like i guess hard for them to get a teen rating with a character only having one arm or something like that but I mean, just the fluidity in the movements of having three out of four limbs, like. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, well, I think it wouldn't have been hard to get a teen rating with that in like the US, but harder in Japan because they're like weirder about it. Oh, I Light think, I think that, was sort of, that was sort of the reasoning. Um, but Spelovich 
I think he took him down to a bar before he tagged? I think so, yes. And knocks Teen out of that B2. Yeah, uh, Teen Gohan in running Super Plus One, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Savior, Focus Shot, Ultra Instinct, Omen on Frieza AI. Um, yeah, I would like to see what uh, future Gohan's health bar there looks like. Because uh, Popovich is on like a 70, well... I was gonna say if he could tag, like he could have potentially gone elite for Boo Saga. Yeah, unfortunately, not an elite performance, but still a very <laughs> good performance from Sopovich. We now have Majin Boo hitting the field. He's running defense plus three, attack minus one, latent energy, then this healing, light body, savior on Yajirobe AI. So just the big tanky boo. Big tanky boo. Uh, because we can't get the YouTube polls to work properly, we've been using straw polls, which have less activity in them. So this is the first that I've seen. Uh, Boo Saga, 100%. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> is, is it a single? No, three people voted. Yeah. <laughs> three people voted. They're like, I'm going to vote. Close the poll immediately. <laughs> Team Gohan, though, putting up a, uh, a decent like uh, fight to catch up from what Spopovich did to the, his team. Yeah, uh, uh, Team Gohan really putting in the effort to, to try to start pull back. That is an ult. Is that connects? No. That's bad bad angles. Bad, bad angle. Um, but, I mean, he's, you know, he's done a bar and a half to Majin Buu. Um, if you can just, like, throw out, you know, keep up the spam. Oh, that's Four an ult. ult. Full connect. Full Does. connection. 15k. Not bad at all. Innocence Cannon, though, from Majin Buu can do some good damage Ooh, right back to him. 11k. Yeah, these two are just trading B2s, and Team Gohan goes down, and it's not looking great for hybrids right now. But they do have Adult Gohan, and he is Adult Gohan. Yeah, Spokovich uh, did, Spokovich did like 70k, which is like, holy jeez. Yeah, for, for him, that's crazy. Um, he's running keep, uh, Don't Go Hunt, running Keep Us Cheeks for minus one, Focus Shot, Indignation, Light Body, Broly Serene, Key Control on Vegeta AI, finishes off Majin Buu, bringing in, uh, Buu Han, who's running Defense Plus Two, Jinde Ceiling, Lane Energy, Serious, Quick Fast Attack, Majin Buu AI, and wow, that was a quick Kamehameha. Yeah, uh, so only a three bar difference between the two teams right now. Um, but I mean, Buu Saga has... They both have real powerful players right now. Yeah, we have Buhan facing Adult Gohan. Both of these being arguably the strongest characters on their respective teams. Nice little and melee they're just... there. They're keeping it tied. Explosive Madon. Yep, there's that uh, accidental boosted explosive. Yeah, doing some good damage to Buhan even through the defense. He gets off another grab. He has the he could go for Kamehameha off this. Oh, uh, he I dropped. Held it just too long. What's his what's his ult in this form? Uh is it, Kama, is it it's Kamikaze attack? I think it's Kamikaze attack. Which from what I've been told, that's an ult. Um is that Kamikaze attack is actually going to be like a really good move in Sparking Zero. Does it have like actual tracking? I guess time stops when it happens. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. Uh, I, I can't like confirm that. But that's ball. what I've heard. <laughs> yeah, if that's true, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty good. Uh, we now have Evil Boo in. He's running Key Plus One, Focus Shot, Savior, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Long Support, Yon, Yajirobe oh, AI. Nice! Granted, that was more on Gohan being dumb and flying into it, but still very nice for uh, Evil Boo. Yeah, uh, doing some good damage to Dolhan. If he can finish off a Dolhan without taking too much more damage or without letting him tag. Yeah, well, be really good uh, Gohan's Saga, being, but... you know, Gohan, and there's the tag. There's a tag. That's not good for Boo Saga unless he can just tear through future without taking any damage. Well, it looks like he's trying. And he does. Uh, he so does. Adult that Gohan may be healed 10 health. But he is coming back in... 
No, he doesn't have Savior. Oh, okay. That, I mean, just a little bit of melee from and the there it is. and that does it. Yeah, so Boo Saga gets the win, which puts them uh, to 8-6. and six. Hybrids fall to an even 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, Boo Saga keeping up with ED. Hybrids, I mean, they're still up in that top area for uh, the bye week. So, I mean, no real... Not, nothing really else to say about that. They're both still fighting for bye weeks. <laughs> yep. Fighting for that bye week. All right. Make sure to do your usual YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Check out links in the description below. TikTok, Twitter, Discord, website. Uh, our Twitch channel. If you're over on Twitch, hopefully somebody's doing your exclamation socials. Uh, and that will allow you to be able to check out everything as well. But until next time, I've been Ryan. I've been bad to the bow. And we will see you in episode four. Take care.